it's like that like that let's get this rebuild started man no hesitation let's go ahead and jump in i know you guys see it already so today we're doing the arizona cardos now this is gonna be a tricky one but then again i say that with all of my rebuilds right now the arizona cardinals currently hold the third pick in the nfl draft now they could potentially go d tackle which i mean jalen carter has been mocked to them a ton of different times or they can go will anderson jr but since that whole incident with uh jalen carter um will anderson has been the guy more towards the arizona cardinals so he's probably gonna already be the pick for this team i'm gonna let you guys know that right now now this team kind of struggled in this past year right in 2022 uh their defense wasn't all that great uh they're allowing like ton of yards ton of points put up on them every single time and it didn't even help that they were in the nfc west either right the offense kind of struggled because i know kyler murray didn't play like the last half of the games or something like that because all i remember is colt mccoy playing and uh trace mcsorley playing too as well and what was the last game what was the last game of the season that they played because that was the most cringe game i have ever seen in my life because i think it was against the buccaneers right and and tom brady because that, that game was so cringe. Okay, I remember watching this game. Like, Trace McSorley had it, but that game was so cringe. Like, come on, bro, come on. Drive the drive down the field. Please, please help this team. And he wasn't doing that at all. Now, let's go ahead and check out these stats for the Arizona Cardinals, right? 22nd in total offense and in defense. They're going to need to improve a lot. They were 21st, right? Um, Kyler Murray had uh, 2,300 yards on the season, 14 touchdowns, seven interceptions. Then again, it was split against like four different quarterbacks too, right? Um, rushing, you have James Conner at 782 with seven touchdowns. Uh, Kyler Murray was uh, second in rushing, which is, I guess, pretty cool in its own right, right? So nobody up over a 1,000, which kind of sucks, right? Because when you have an air raid offense that's not able, able to raid the air, <laughs> and you ain't gonna have thousand yard receivers this is kind of the uh main part why they let uh what's it cliff kingsbury go uh because first off they weren't winning right and second of all that scheme just wasn't working with the weapons that you had like you have these weapons utilize them doesn't make any sense right okay so, and they even traded for marquise brown who was supposed to be that impact guy but never ended up being that guy or not yet anyway because of the whole situation with their coaching staff and the scheme and whatever, right? So DeAndre Hopkins had 717 uh, on the season. Uh, Marquise Brown had 709. Greg Dorsch had uh, 467. And Rondell Moore, the speedster, had 414. And I believe they also traded for Zach Ertz, too, midway through the season. And uh, Roby Anderson, who's not going to be here in this video either, because I think they did cut him recently also as well. Um, three touchdowns for these two up top. Uh, defense, top three, you got, damn, I like that. Buda Baker, yo, personally, not my first favorite safety in the league, obviously. Because, you know, my first page safety is <laughs> Mika Fitzpatrick. But uh, Buda Baker is up there. Definitely up there right there. Uh, 1,100. 1,100 yard. Damn. 111 tackles on the season. Jalen Thompson had 110. Uh, Xavier Collins had 100. And Isaiah Simmons had 99. Almost 100. Which is actually pretty cool. I didn't move him to the middle linebacker position because he is backing up both safeties in Jalen Thompson and Buda Baker. Who both of them are... Our leading tacklers this season. <laughs> okay. Interceptions. We have Marco Wilson with uh three, Buda Baker with two, Simmons with two, and everybody else with one. <laughs> but when I talk about interceptions, I remember that one where they intercepted Andy Dalton in the end zone. And then you just see that guy flying in the background, just like like jumping with the ball like this. That shit was crazy. I was like, damn, that's fucked up. Sacks on the season. We had 12 and a half from JJ Watt, who is retired, and I won't be bringing him back just because he's retired. Zach Allen, they did not resign, who I might not resign either. And they didn't even sign Byron Murphy, also, who's also not going to be in this video either because he's just not with the team anymore, right? Um, taking punting, let's not worry about that. Now, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump in to the off season i'll see you guys at the end of free agency let me take you guys to the free agency recap right so i'm kind of going with what's going on in real life too as well all right just to let you guys know why because i know some of y'all might be like why didn't y'all resign brian murphy or why didn't you resign this why didn't you resign that i'm just letting you guys know man i'm just going based off what happened in free agency this season in real life miles sanders to the Bengals, huh okay I'll think about that. I'll think about that when I need to make a trade with you guys. Okay. So Ben Powers, because we need a left guard to be able to help us out. 81 rated, 27 years old. Signed him to a two-year contract. So kind of until he's 29, I could have made it three if I really, really wanted to. But I kind of forgot about that. Okay. Moving on. Uh, Evan McPherson, kicker. We needed one. Uh, Tier Tart, because we needed somebody in the middle for us to be able to help us out. 
right? Uh, you guys kind of already know the pick I'm going with uh, when it comes to the draft. So kind of to fill up the middle in that kind of sense, right? Rockison, uh, we needed a corner because we did not re-sign Byron Murphy, right? That's why also Sean Murphy buttoning is here because we need depth at the cornerback position with everybody being low rated. That ain't going to help us out. Uh, we needed a punter. Marcus Davenport. Uh, we have Maje Sanders, right? He was a rookie out of Cincinnati who I really, really liked when he got drafted there. Um, he is, I believe, a he was a left outside linebacker. I dropped him to the, the left end. Um, and I put Marcus Davenport on the right hand side. I feel like that works out a little bit better because now we have edge We have people coming off the edge. Maja Sanders isn't like too high overall yet So we can be able to bring somebody like Will Anderson jr. To come off the left hand side uh, Garrett Bradbury uh, just because we needed a center because uh, Rodney Hudson when you release him clears up a ton of cap and that's kind of what I did That's a lot of the route or a lot of the things that they're saying that they should do also is just let him go so you guys can open up space, right? Now, let's go to the NFL draft. Now, this is not updated with what's going on in real life, right? The Panthers have the number one overall pick. I'm going to keep reiterating that because the Bears have it in this game. And I'm just going to make sure that we get our guy because uh, the Bears are currently number nine. And they're not going to draft Will Anderson at number nine. Instead, we're, I'm just going to go ahead and trade up. It doesn't matter anyway. The Bears get pushed back to three. They can do whatever the hell they want with that pick, right? Um they projected Jalen Carter to go here, but he is no longer going to go here because of what's happened in real life. I feel like personally, personally, that's what I feel like. Might as well just get one of the top prospects uh, that is not a quarterback in this draft and Will Anderson Jr. To come off the edge, I'm going to put him as a left outside linebacker for us uh, because we're running a 3-4 defense. So... He would be a lot of, he would be a better fit there, to be honest, pers personally, <laughs> personally. We do also have a second round pick and I could potentially trade up, right? Because we do need a right tackle. There are a ton of right tackles that are really, really decent that we can pick up Pulso. Like, I mean, I should just let the draft go. I really don't care. I'm not going to move up into the top 10 and try to bring another pick again. So I'm going to resume the draft, let them go. It's also interesting to see who goes to. It's probably going to be like Bryce Young or something like that. It's fine. Fine, it's fine, fine. Let me go to right tackle because we do need one. Our defense is kind of okay at the moment. Broderick Jones is here. I think that'd be cool. DeWan Jones is also here too. That would be also be pretty cool for us. Jalen Duncan. All of these guys would be good. All of these guys would be good. Maybe in the third round. Um, and then we could potentially use the other pick, the second round pick for something like a right outside linebacker maybe. Um, Zach Booth. I mean, I don't like anybody here. <laughs> so probably not, right? Corner would be another great shout. Joey Porter, Christian Gonzalez, Cam Smith, Brian Branch here. Free safeties, we don't need one. Honestly, we'll just see who falls to us. Okay, see, look, Jaden Carter. See, they would have went with Anderson Jr. and That would not have been the move. Uh, see who goes here. CJ Stroud. Anthony Richardson. Nolan Smith. Okay, because I did make him a little bit better. Nolan Smith is projected like in the 13th to 20th. That's kind of where I have him. He just got drafted that high though, so that's kind of ridiculous. Peter Stronsky. I want to see where Anthony Richardson goes. Brian Brees, Breezy, uh, Steelers were looking at him. Michael Mayer, definitely not. They go quarterback in that situation. Oh my goodness. Okay, never mind. Let's just let's move on. Let's move on. I'm not going to trade up. There's no point. Gervin Dexter Sr. goes number two. Okay. Damn, that would have been a good shout too in the middle. No, I think about it. I don't really think about that. Uh, who's the best overall guy? Damn, it's a bunch of corners. Zion Nelson, move him to the right tackle position. I think that'd be good. Isaiah Foskey to also help back up the middle. Honestly, Tucker Craft, Bebe. Who's our left guard, right guard? It's Henderson, right? No, Hernandez, it's Hernandez. Tyree Gilbert. I'm going to go with um, Zion Nelson here uh, out of Miami and move him to the right tackle position to help us out to better protect Kyler Murray. Um, of course, he's a normal depth trade, which is fine. I'm not really too opposed to that anyway. Let's go ahead. One more, one more. Let's go, one more. Let's go, one more. Let's go, one more. Maybe we can get some high end talent this far. Ricky Stromberg. Okay. <laughs> Cam Smith, cornerback. Uh, I mean, I would have went tight end, right? But we have McBride and we have Zach Hurts. Uh, I would go corner, but I like our slot corner. He's pretty nice. I think it's Wilson. I forgot what his first name is, though. Eric Gray has a backup running backs. I might look into running back next season just to. Just to see. Dewan Jones, I was talking about you earlier. Picking up this late in the draft would be kind of nice for us. Uh, I believe so, right? Now we have Zion Nelson, who could back up any spot pretty much on the field. 
So with that being said, I'll see you guys at the start of next season. This season, right? See, when it comes to the Arizona Cardinals, this team can be up in the air, right? This team can either make the playoffs the first and second year or not. Or they could just make it in the second year. Or they could just not make it at all. This one's a test run, right? Because this team is just so bad. This is probably one of the worst rated teams of Madden at this point prior to what they were at the beginning of the year in Madden 2023. So let's go ahead and take a look at our squad. And let's see if we have potential to make the playoffs, right? I kind of dibbled and dabbled, kind of mix it up to see what I can use on the offensive side. This is what our offense is going to be looking like, right? Offensive line, not the greatest. I can give you guys that right now. Not the greatest. We have Kyler Murray, though. If he can go up to like an 85, 83 by the end of this video, that'd be great because he can help us win some ball games. Uh, DeAndre Hopkins also as well. Marquise Brown also. Uh, Rondell Moore. If all of these guys can go up, that help us out a ton. But it doesn't start without the offensive line, right? Defense. We're looking a lot better than what we started with, right? Uh, Xavier Collins, Isaiah Simmons in the middle. I could potentially move Xavier Collins to the right outside linebacker, but we have two middle linebackers for a reason. That's what I'm going to use them for, right? Uh, we might improve the right outside linebacker like midway towards this video, or I just might right now. I just might. Who knows? I want to start this video off pretty hot. I want to see how far we can go. Rocky Sin and Murphy Buttony on the outside is pretty cool. I like that we're kind of shut down at the moment. I know they picked up Kaiser White in free agency, but I could not pick him up. I lost the bidding to the Philadelphia Eagles, which sucks, okay? Special teams, you guys already know we got Rondell returning. Uh, our specialist, pretty nice, pretty nice, pretty nice. I have... Uh, Maje Sanders backing up the right uh, defensive, the Russian defensive tackle, because you're going to have somebody like Will Anderson coming off the edge on the other side. And I also have him backing him up too, just so he can get XP. You know what I mean? He can get XP. Uh, I'll be right back. Let me see if I can fix this right outside linebacker situation to help us out. Hey, they did sign in real life. I traded a third for Kaiser White. Nowadays, people are going for like fourth and fifth round picks. So I guess this was a good deal. Welcome, Kaiser White, to the squad, even though you were on this team in real life. All right, so everything's fixed, ready to go. I'll see you guys at the end of the season. Kaiser White is going to be our starting right outside linebacker. Well, I'll see you guys if we make it in the playoffs or not. All right. So recently I've been testing out this one thing, which is the auto progress players and auto progress talents for our staff and our players auto progress throughout the season without me having to do it manually. So hopefully that also helps out too when it comes to like my team, because if they're able to progress without me jumping in and be like a progress and then see, hopefully that wins those ballgames, that, that'll help me out in the long run. It makes things a whole lot easier as we're coming up to week 18. I don't feel like we. Oh, oh shit! Oh shit! We made dude. Kaiser White made a big difference, baby. Oh, let's go ten and seven like that, like that, like that, like that. We went ten. I gotta see who we played against. I gotta see who we beat because we are in the wild card playoff game against the Carolina Panthers, who are pretty even matchup, man. Let's go ahead and check out the bracket. Pause right here if you guys want to see if y'all team made it. Okay, okay, okay. The left side looking okay, decent, pretty decent. We are the fourth seed. I can't believe that. I know the Rams fall off after this year because they lose everybody. Seahawks, I mean, are kind of trash for Geno Smith because he's not rated like he usually is. And I have no idea how the 49ers be choking like that, like that. That kind of sucks. Well, it's not my problem now because they, I believe, like the six or seven seed. I wasn't paying attention. I'm going to be honest with you guys. Now, let me go to the regular season. Okay, we lost the first matchup. One possession game. I ain't going to stress about that. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven game win streak. We like that, like that. And we have like probably like a morale boost boosting us up that entire time during that win streak, helping us win those games. That's ridiculous. All right, okay, we got blown out by the Fort Niners, I guess. Whatever. Okay, we got okay, whatever. <laughs> Two teams, I hate them. Okay, we're not even making these one possession games. The all these last three losses were one possession games. I mean, if we want those, we potentially could be a higher seed, maybe the first overall seed, and not even worry about it, right? But we lose those games anyway, right? <laughs> all right, let's go ahead and check out these stats. Oh, I didn't even check. That was too fast. I didn't even get to read the stats on the right-hand side. We're uh, top 10 in total offense. I like that. I like that. Okay, top 20 in total defense. I mean, we have the offensive firepower. We don't have the defense just yet. Just wait next year. Just wait next year. Kyler Murray, 5,100 yards passing. 34 touchdowns, 16 interceptions. 65% completion percentage. James Conner, I'm not expecting you to have be a 1,000-yard back because we have Kyler Murray who's going to run the ball anyway. Um, so 975, a little short, a little short. I kind of thought it was going to make 3,000 yard receivers. Not one, not two, but three. Marquise Brown, 1,400 yards on the season. He is our slot guy. DeAndre Hopkins on the outside, big body, 6'1", uh, 1,200 yards on the season. 12 touchdowns for Marquise Brown. That's kind of nice. Zach Ertz, 10 year pro, 1,000 oh, yards on the season. Rondell Moore almost had 1,000 himself. Look at these touchdowns by these guys, man. That's crazy. Defense. 
All right, Isaiah Simmons. We're resigning you. We're bringing him back to the squad. They're not utilizing him right, and I'm going to utilize him right. You move him middle linebacker. I know that's what he started off, but they moved him. But whatever. <laughs> You're our middle. 135 tackle on the season. Davian Collins, 114. Okay, Buda Baker didn't have to get all of the tackles like he did the previous season. If you can go up to a superstar X Factor, that'd be kind of nice. Low key, low key. Uh, Marco Wilson. Okay, our slot guy. Pretty nice. Will Anderson. Okay, okay. I like it. I like it. Interceptions, four for Rockison. Great signing. Three, Isaiah uh, Simmons. Buda Baker had two. Uh, Marco. Did I say Michael? Marco Wilson had two. Okay. Sacks. I'm excited. Nine for Davenport. Great signing. Great signing. We're getting to the quarterback. That's cool. Will Anderson, eight and a half. He's going to be a big time player in a couple of next season. Watch. Baje Sanders. Look at the backup. See, four and a half. I like to see that. Tart, two and a half. I didn't expect him to do much. I'm going to be honest. Kicker, 85%. Love it. All right. I don't really care about the punting. I just have a punter so we can pin teams deep. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? All right. Let me check out my roster. One last time. Let me check out my roster. Adjust the lineup. I'll adjust the lineup. Let's, let's do adjust the lineup. I want oh, I'm so excited. What, what, are, what are that team looking at with the morale boost that I feel like we have? Okay, we don't have a big morale boost, but I just get the job done. Kyler Murray, 80 overall. Our receivers kind of goaded. Kind of goaded. Will Anderson, okay. Superstar. I like it. Buda Baker. You gotta you gotta pick that up, big dog. Like I need you to be like a superstar at least. He should be a superstar at least. Why is he a star? That's kind of whack. Anyways, go ahead and jump into the game against the Carolina Panthers, who don't have a quarterback, I don't think. It's like that, like that. I'm hella ready for wait a minute. I just thought of something. When I loaded up this game, I saw DJ Moore on the left hand side. They have DJ Moore still. I mean, I probably should make some you know, a few adjustments so DJ Moore is not there because now they have a high-powered weapon that shouldn't even be there. He should be on the Chicago Bears. I should probably just make that on the side and film you and film me. We'll see. We'll see, though. Hopefully, it's not going to be too much of a big deal. We should be able to beat this team, I feel like. They got a rookie quarterback. They don't beat us. We got Kyler. I mean, I mean, he did make that whole scene trying to get a new contract, but we still got Kyler. You feel me? 10-3. Ten ten okay. Easy put away. I will save my save me save my jump in for like the conference title game, divisional title game. Those are games I want to play. Oh yeah, easy, easy. Give me Teddy. One more. Yes, go. We put it away. We put it away. We. I'll see you guys at the start of the. Okay, hold on, slow down. All right, cool, cool, cool. I'll take a field goal. I'll take a field goal. every day of the week. All right. Okay. 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 Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Damn. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. We slow it down. No. 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 Wait. Hold on. Who has the ball? They got the ball. Okay, okay, okay. I think I think we we press this. I I kind of have to jump in there. That kind of sucks. <laughs> that's, that's, that's. Man, I use my jumping like that. <laughs> we are in the goddamn goddamn like overtime against Hennon Hooker, who's a rookie who shouldn't even be here. I mean, you know what? I feel like the Panthers can go Hennon Hooker. It's one of those things where I don't expect it, but it can happen. Oh, I'm here. Don't even try it. I'm here. I'm fast. Oh, 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 oh. block it. Get in there. Oh, watch it. Oh, let's go to the crib. We win this. We win this ball game right here. We win this ball game right here. Murphy Button, go! Oh shit! Oh shit! That was clutch. That was clutch. Yo, man. Imagine if I play like my ultimate team, which I'm probably gonna do in the next matter. Not right now, because it's already kind of late in my team. I mean, my team's kind of good. I ain't gonna lie, but I'd rather just save it for next one. All right, we're gonna go game winner chicken dinner right here. Cause fuck it, YOLO. Oh, we just catched that. Dude, I did that in my last video. What the fuck? <laughs> okay, I'll take that. Kyler Murray, 301. I mean, I'm going to pretty much help you guys win this. We win on a field goal now at this point, right? We can slow it down. I'm a little read option kind of gang right here. Look, read. Oh, James Conner. Stiff him. Stiff him. Hit him with the stiffy. Hit him with the... St oh, oh. You got to tackle a long-ass time ago. I'm still talking. Like, boy, shut the hell up. <laughs> my bad. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No... They don't even have a single high safety. Both safeties are dropped down in the box. This could be easy. E oh, yeah, you fucked up. You fucked up. Oh, man, that was almost intercepted, too. That was kind of cringe. I'm not going to lie. This is probably... I, you know what? I'll take the jump in here because you never know what can happen in the next game. Uh, I have no idea who we're going to go up against. Probably going to be like a really good... Oh, throw quick. Ball game. Bye. Bye. Bye, Carolina. That's ball game right there, baby. Yes, sir. We advancing. We man, so Henry Hooker, thank you for the game, man. Put up a good fight. But when I jumped in, it was pretty much wraps. I kinda had to jump in. You guys are lucky I was paying attention. I see I knew some shit was like that was gonna happen. I think I knew some shit was like that was gonna happen. I'm telling you guys that right now. I'm telling you guys that right now. I knew it. I knew. Alright. Who's gonna be our next guy? I know the Eagles won their game. I seen it at the bottom. 
Don't be the Eagles. Ah, fuck. Kind of wish I didn't waste my jump in now. Anyway, <laughs> fuck. All right. Go ahead and up our grade our players real quick. Just to make sure. Okay, I don't know who that is, but I mean, fine. I think some random ass guy we signed. You know what? Making it this far is good enough for me. Let's go ahead and jump into this game. I'll see you guys in the... I mean, okay, granted, right? We still have home field advantage, but this is the Philadelphia freaking Eagles. Okay, that's not what I meant to do. Wow, how did I... Oh, my... Okay, fine. I'll kick off, I guess, whatever. But they do have A.J. Brown. They do have Devonta Smith. They do have an incredible defensive line. They do have an outstanding quarterback. There's not much I can do about this one, gang. I'm going to be honest. There's not much I can do. This is this is gonna be on our defense for them to try to win this ball game. If we can somehow have Jalen Hurts like, if we can do that, if we if we can do this, that'd be okay. I, just, I was just talking shit about how we might just lose this ball game. Well, I mean, okay. Oh no, don't let them do that now. Oh oh my, what the, f what is going on? What is going on? Stop it! Stop! 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 stop. Dude, can we? Is Kyler Murray about to do it? Is Kyler Murray about... To, I'm not even trying to commentate. We're blowing him out so bad. I mean, okay. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, they have Terrell Edmonds. All right. Hold on. We won that game? <laughs> Nick Sirianni, bye. We were the severe underdogs. Okay. You know what? When Kyler Murray's passing 77% from the field, I respect it, though, right? I respect it. Let me see. All right. 23 for 30 on the day, 302 yards, 76%, two touchdowns, one interception. Okay. James Conner didn't expect much. I'm going to be honest. Uh, Zach Ertz, 112. Marquise Brown, 107. Okay. DeAndre Hopkins at 28, but we didn't need him. We didn't need him. Okay. What is our defense looking like? Oh, we were making plays. Rocky Sin, 11 tackles. Isaiah Simmons, 10. Buda Baker, 7. Okay. Interceptions, 1 for Marco Wilson. Dude, Marco Wilson's the guy. Bro. I need to resign and one sack for Marcus Davenport. Yes, sir. Okay. This is where it gets difficult because we are in the NFC. So who am I predicting? Like the Cowboys, the, I mean, Commanders maybe because they have a good defense. They could potentially make it there. Um, who, who else am I predicting here? Who who else? Oh, shit. Of course, it's going to be the two good teams with the fucking greatest defense in the world, bro. We somehow snuck. Okay, they were 10-7, and seven, granted, but damn. Okay. Okay. I mean, Chris Godwin. I mean, we have a shot. We have a shot. Like, I mean, Kyler Murray can do it potentially, right? Like, I mean, I'm, I don't know. You guys can close your eyes for this one because I have no idea if we're going to make it. I mean, we are going to be the away team. I mean, we've played in uh, Tampa Bay before. Will Anderson's our best guy. That's that's when you know it's bad. We got a shot at making the title game in our very first year. We got lucky with the Eagles, but the two other teams that we are facing are pretty garbage. So the fact that we're going up against two rookies. Because I don't know who the Tampa Bay Buccaneers have. It ain't going to be Kyle Trask. I'll tell you that much right now. It's either... Oh, it's Anthony Richardson. He's <laughs> wearing number 12. Oh, wow. Wow, we're going up against Anthony Richardson and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. You know, he could, this could be a team that he falls to, too, honestly. I know they have Kyle Trask as being the projected starter, but ain't no way in hell he's going to start when they have this many quarterbacks on the board. All right, can we, like beat them because our defense is good but their defense is good also they have weapons we have weapons and now it's just a matter of who can outscore this is going to be a shootout for watch we're up right now but this is going to end up being a shootout i can guarantee you that because our weapons are just as good as theirs okay fuck dude we're gonna make the super bowl we're gonna make the fucking super bowl bro we gotta slow this down because they have the ball now interception buda baker stop it bro stop it dude Okay, we okay, we got lucky with the Philadelphia Eagles, man. But the two teams we faced, it could have been any other route, honestly. If this is the, it would have been a lot, lot harder in the AFC, I'll tell you guys that right now. I might jump in though to watch Anthony Richardson play because he's gonna be a guy I'm gonna draft with like another team on me. I'm gonna be honest with you guys right now. Uh let's go let's go slow down. Let's watch Anthony Richardson, bro. We we got wannabe Tom Brady here in the backfield. Four wide receiver set, bunch to the left hand side of the field. Throws a little quick dump route. Number 17 is that Gage? It's not Gage. I forget who number 17 is. It's not Russell Gage. Russell Gage plays for the Atlanta Falcons. He's. I forget the, like these like these slot guys too. Sometimes obviously they have Mike Evans. Obviously they have Mike uh, Goodwin. Uh, they have Leonard Fournette, who they don't have anymore in real life. But we're not generating any pressure. What is okay? They even call it boom, big, hey, big boy hit right there. Yes sir. Yes sir. Bought the 35 yard line, 30 inches. 
it is a five wide receiver set bunch to the left hand side of the field third and inch. we're gonna get a sack here i feel it i feel it don't even try to run it hold it hold it yep well, we didn't hit the quarterback at the end i know we did it oh, take that back that way that way yes sir yeah tap your head you look stupid should i make shaq mason look stupid out there holding like that all right, this is a tight double set right here. Leonard Fournette in the backfield. This is going to be easy, like double post outs with the uh, the out routes for the other two. Uh, but look at that. I'm nice with my... Oh, that's a set. Oh, my God. Saving Collins, can we get there, please? I know you ain't about to get... Fumble. No. Oh, we got it. Who's number 41? That's a... Uh, fuck, fuck, fuck. That's number 40. Uh, Maje Sanders. Let's go, Maje. I thought, I thought that looked like a Tampa Bay Bucks player who got that. Let's, let's, see, let's see my team. Let's see my team. Let's see my team. Let's see my team. This is a good ass defense though too, I'm gonna be honest. We just were able to outplay them. I thought this was gonna be a shootout. Every game with Anthony Richardson is a shootout. Because I have no idea. He is a superstar. I made him a superstar because of what he did in the combine, but no matter what team drafts him, he always gets put in a damn good situation. So where just gonna he's just gonna win ball games and always end up being here anyway. Like, what the fuck? Oh, you're not gonna catch Kyler. Like when I do the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, I'm picking him. Anthony Richardson. Like, if he's going to fall that far, I'm picking him up. Like, we're going to win. We're going to, that's where we're going to be built to do. It's win ball game, bro. Tight double set. Easy little hand. I guess not. This is going to be the same play that they ran, but for a touchdown instead. But no, I swear that the one yard line. Damn. My boy held on to that. I know you ain't talking shit because we do have Murphy Button on our team, and he looks like he's about to go to the chip. Dude, I can't believe we did this on our freaking first year. We just. Banked on the 49ers doing sh James Conner touchdown. That's ball game. That's ball game. I'm not even gonna watch the remainder of this because we we won already. I knew the Cardinals are a sleeper team. They can make it in their first year, or they could just flat out go three and like 16. Or, one second, three and 14, and just have a top overall pick, which they didn't do here. And this boy dancing like he did something. You better have a hundred yards rushing if you're gonna be dancing like that. I'm gonna tell you that right now. All right, we going fast. And then jump to the end of the ball game because we like that like that. We like that like that. All right. Yeah. Another touchdown is not going to do anything for us. The auto-generated coach, Thomas Peters, about to go to the chip on his first year. <laughs> oh, oh, my goodness. 31 for 39 on the day. 400 yards passing. 80% completion percentage. Three touchdowns, one interception. James Conner, don't be dancing if you ain't going to put up at least 80. Um, Marquise Brown had 141 on the day. DeAndre Hopkins, 94. Um, two touchdowns for DeAndre. Uh, one for James Conner, defense. Isaiah Simmons, bro, we're resigning you. Buda Baker, Marco Wilson, these three top guys are going to be on our team next season, obviously. Two sacks for Tar. Will Anderson had one. Darvin Port had one. Interception for Buda Baker at the end of the ball game. We're going to the chip, though. We're going to the chip, though. Hey, we're going to the chip. Yes, sir. We're going to check. Hey, I'm like that, like that. I'm like that, like that. My goal is to have everybody say, like that, like that. I got it from another YouTuber who's a Yu Gi Oh! YouTuber because I watch Yu Gi Oh! And Yu-Gi-Oh! And he says that all the time. And now I'm stuck saying it. Now I'm saying like that, like that. And just like that, like that, we're going to the gym. I just played the Chargers in my 17-0 and 0 video. If you guys haven't seen that, we're going to go check that out. Because that's kind of a banger. I got my boy DK Metcalf Moss somebody in the back of the end. So you guys got to go check that out. It's even a YouTube short if you guys want to see that part. But we're playing the Los Angeles Chargers again. Man, let's go ahead and jump in. I'll see you guys there. You guys already know, bro. You guys already know I had to wear the all black jerseys, baby. Bro, I've been wanting to wear these. So thankfully we made it. I you know, to be honest, I didn't expect we make it in year one, but we made it. Look how dope we look, bro. Yeah, Justin Herbert. I, he's upset. He's upset from the last video. If you guys haven't already checked that out. A 17 no challenge video. Yeah, we destroyed him. He's just probably butthurt. He's probably still butthurt about that. I understand though, because I know your team just isn't built to win like mine is. You know what I mean? Like I'm really like I'm really like that when it comes to rebuilds. Like I can build teams just to win championships. It's just, just like that. Like we can have a one year turnaround. All right. Oh, I'm Garden here, right here, right here, right here. I'm all over. I'm all over. I'm serious. I'm over here now. Oh, Xavier Collins. Oh yeah, he fell down. Bro, Xavier, please be faster than Justin Herbert. Oh, you're not. He's a big body linebacker, so I didn't expect them to go that far anyway. He got it though. Hey, we got it. Hey, of course, we third and two. I'll run a read option here. All right, Joey. All right, Joe. Respectfully though, you can't guard. You can't guard my boy. Oh yeah, respectfully. Oh, I'm sliding though because I don't know if Kyler Murray's in prone to fumble. And I'm just not gonna risk that. Oh, look at him take off, bro. Superstar X Factor Kyler Murray. Superstar X Factor. Kyler. We're running. We're not even passing. 
This high powered offense, we're not even passing the ball. I respect it, I guess, but damn. All right. All right. I really have to like max protect, bro. They have people off the right on the break. Remember, brother, you guys left. You guys were playing zone. You guys left that gap wide open for somebody like uh, DeAndre Hopkins. Okay, end of one, end of one, one, zero, zero. Respect it. Respect. I, dude, I wonder how much cap space we're gonna have this season. Now imagine we're just we're already making it here. Now imagine with a team that we can build with more money. Oh, James Conner. He said you better resign. I don't know about resigning you, big dog, but. I mean, he said resign. Like, honestly, we don't even need a running back. I'm going to be honest with you. We, we probably don't. Uh, we're more of a spread offense. And spread offense, I think, is what we're going to do. Oh, that's a touchdown. You're, just off that animation I, alone, I knew you were going to throw him in there. Yeah, corners are young. Did we just get an interception for a touchdown? Let's go. I seen that yellow. I seen that. This game's wraps. This game's wraps. Yeah. Yeah, no, this game's wraps. Like, Justin Herbert, you're not, you're not going to do anything. This is a single high safety, easy cover three, unless it's man to man, but it, I highly, do. oh no, it, it was. Kyler, oh, you're five for 12. How do you have a, what, 80% completion game and a 75% completion game and you just choke here? Like, I don't understand that. I don't understand that. How do you pop up? All right, here on the break. Well, bam. DeAndre Hopkins, he's going to win his chip. He's going to win his chip. You can retire. You can go off to the sunset. I don't, really don't care. How to generate a coach, Thomas Peters, about a win of a chip, too. Like Rondell Moore, speed, split the safeties, wraps. Split the safeties, wraps right here. Look, I called it right now. Nope. No, no, no. Oh, right there on the, on the break. Oh. oh, that, no, I see that toe out of bounds. I see that toe. He did not pick that. He did not pick that. Style. Okay. No, no, no. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. He didn't pick that. He didn't pick that. He didn't pick it. He didn't pick it. He didn't pick it. I know he didn't. One. Oh, fuck. he picked it. He picked it. It just feels like a Kyler Murray type throw. Just a late throw like that. He moments. Okay. Hopefully that's just... Okay, we're winning by a lot already. Oh, not really. Okay, now we are. And like, let me get... Either you can either one let me play or just have us blow him out because I want to play and I want DeAndre Hopkins to be our... That's a PI. Hold on. But I'll, I'll take the touchdown instead, too. <laughs> yeah, I might just uh, swap out Kyler Murray so DeAndre Hopkins can be the player of the game. I just might. I just might if Kyler Murray's gonna have this bad of a game. I'm just gonna throw it up to DeAndre. Why is DeAndre not a superstar X Factor? I just realized that. Okay, so I'm gonna I did it this way for a reason because he hit the Yeah, dude. He's 15 for 25. Four I mean I respect the four touchdowns, but damn. Alright, you guys know this is a Super Bowl, so we really, really don't even kick field goals in Super Bowls. It's just it's just how I am. It's just different out here. Like this play, always wide open, 100%. DeAndre Hopkins over the middle. I'll give him time. Give him time to create space. Kyler, what was that, my guy? I get you have somebody in your face. I was about to say, coming in your face. <laughs> Thank God I caught that. All right, we're driving. Close ball game. I mean, what, what kind of super would it be if it wasn't a close ball game? I'm going to take JC Jason. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take JC Jackson's ankles right here. Look, check this out. Look, on the break. Wabam. Boom. Steph, get, get off of me, little ass kid. Oh, my goodness. That's ridiculous. On the break. Yeah, they have a good corner on DeAndre, but he's not great. He's not great. You have to be great to cover DeAndre Hopkins. Like, right here, I'm going to purposefully, I'm going to purposefully make him go out so I can just head top chance over here. Oh. <gasps> oh. Bro, they catch that in real life. I know I know that was a pass breakup right there. But you're telling me DeAndre don't catch that? Like, no, no, no. It's fake. It's fake. It's fake. It's fake. Drop in the coverage again, I dare you. I'm going to test you again. Oh, my God. Come on. Come on. I'm testing that. I'm testing that every day of the week. Every day of the week. I'm going to do it again. I'm going to do it again. Fade ball. DeAndre Hopkins loses that three straight times. I hella doubt that. But who cares? We're going for it. Because why not? This is a close ball game. Dude, I'm going to do it again. I'm going to do it. I get he's a good corner, but there's no way he does it four times in a row. So you're telling me these boys, this boy can get up there. Okay. I was just trying to float that. Because if you high point it, they... E. E. First thing goal. Okay. 
Don't even don't don't try to run it. Don't try to run it. This is the running formation. Don't try it. Do not try it. I'm gonna split this. Or just throw me off. Like just throw me off. Like that's fine. You don't even have 100 yards to Austin Eckler. All right, we play underneath here. We play underneath. We press because why not? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Of course, it's gonna lead to a game, a Kyler Murray game winner. Kyler Murray game winner. Or DeAndre Hopkins. You guys know where I'm going with that. Play action pass. Great throw on the run. Let's go, Kyler. Joey Bosa was coming too. Joey Bosa was coming. Coming fast enough, I'll tell you that. I'll tell you that. Kyler right there. Split these safeties right here. On the quick throw. Yeah, you got me, but you ain't gonna do nothing about it. We're gonna hurry up offense and drive. We're gonna drive right here. Look, game winner right here. Look, on the break again. This is a high powered game right here. High powered game. High scoring game. Super Bowl. Kyler Murray, you know what? Honestly, I kind of expect Kyler Murray to have a two interception like Super Bowl game, you know what I mean? Yeah, I feel like it's expected. I'm testing this again. Don't try me. Finally! <laughs> He's one for four. I had, to, I, had to, I had to watch that carefully. Like, I didn't even know if he brought that down or not. Like, damn. Oh, no. We're going man to man coverage. We're going man to man coverage. Austin Eckler, don't even try me, dog. I, I'll lock you up. I'm going to lock you up. Oh, give me that. Yeah, let's go to the crib. To the crib. Yep. Mm -hmm. I don't know who you think you were testing there. My boy, Hairston, was going to intercept that all the way. All the way. You guys already know. I will throw it up again. Don't try me, boy. Don't try it. Don't, don't test me with a good time. Do not test me with a good time. Oh, yeah. Oh, I saw that. I saw that. I saw that one, though. I saw that one. Khalil Mack is not guarding anybody out in space. I'm, I'm going to be honest. I'm going to be honest. That's a touchdown. That's wraps. 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 That, that, no, that's wraps. <laughs> As the Arizona Cardinals take it in year number, well, technically number two, right? Uh, Kyler Murray, 60% completions. Hey, yo, that's average, I guess, for an NFL quarterback, right? Uh, six touchdowns, two interceptions. Damn, Justin Herbert had five. He was trying to really get me back for that 17-0 challenge. It's ridiculous. Uh, James Conner had 82 yards rushing, receiving 150 for DeAndre Hopkins, 103 for Zach Ertz, 121 for Marquise Brown. Rondell Moore, I mean, you're already the younger guy, so I don't expect you to do much. Six for everybody, but two for everybody besides Rondell Moore. Defense, we have um, Jalen Thompson with nine, Zayvon Collins with seven, Rocky Sin with six. Zayvon Collins with that interception earlier. Harrison uh, at the end of the game, and Buda Baker also as well has one. One for Tart, uh, half. For Will Anderson for Buda Baker as well. That's what I meant to say. Anyway, let's go ahead and exit out this game, man. My allergies are acting up. Why? Why are my allergies acting up? My nose is stiffy. My nose is stiffy. That was a high scoring game for no reason. For no reason. Let's go ahead and go to the off season. Let me show you guys the season recap and then I'll catch you guys at the end of free agency. Because I have no idea how much money we got. And I don't know who we need to resign. But we got to resign a lot of players. Make some money moves. Maybe let go of some people and whatnot. Hopefully, you know what? Isaiah Simmons did a lot to be able to be brought back. Anyway, uh, season recap. Buda Baker, NFL MVP. Or NFL MVP. Super Bowl MVP, Justin Herbert, NFL MVP. Matt Rule, Coach of the Year. Cooper Cup, Offensive, Von Miller, Defensive. Anthony Richardson, Offensive Rookie of the Year. Nolan Smith, Defensive Rookie of the Year. Okay. You know what? I'm glad I went to Buda Baker. Buda Baker deserved that one big time. Anyway, I'll see you guys at the end of the free agency period. So pretty much, right, we have to improve our defense. And that's exactly what I did in this free agency period. So first off, we have to deal with uh, Justin Herbert now being in the NFC. That's one. That's another guy that we have to worry about. Derrick Henry, also another guy that moved to the NFC that we have to worry about. Um, for Sean Gary, I mean, from NFC to AFC, fine. I mean, cool. Je Jeffrey Simmons, okay. Tennessee, okay. Tremaine Edmonds, damn, okay, we got to worry about a lot. So, to help solidify our cornerback play, Trayvon Diggs, welcome to the squad with Jeff Akuda. Akuda can play in the slot as well next to Marco Wilson, because that'd be kind of nice. He has a superstar he's going to develop. We re-signed Marquise Brown because, why not? He performed, as good as he performed, he deserves to be back. Uh, Trayvon Diggs, we needed a lockdown corner. 
and lockdown corner we got, right? We need to improve our D tackle position, uh, which I was trying to pick up Ed Oliver, but I couldn't sign him. He ended up going to the who else but Kansas City Chiefs. So that sucks. That sucks. That really does. Um, potential guys, I have Steelers have the number one pick. What the hell? Um, potential guys that I have to move, right? James Conner. To make room, I wouldn't mind picking up another running back. It's just it's just a move that I feel like we have to do. Um, like, look at all of these guys. Like, all of these guys are for a lot less money, and James Conner really didn't produce in the playoffs for us, which sucks because I kind of wish he did. Um, we have the third overall pick. From who? From why do we have the third overall pick? Why? Wait. Oh, no, no, no. I'm dumb. I'm dumb. I'm dumb. That's from the Chicago Bears. What am I thinking? I'm over here like, why do we have the number one pick? That's kind of sus. Kind of sus. Steve, Steven Berger. Oh, my goodness. So, I know I put out that poll, right, about what I should do when it comes to, like, creating a custom player. And quarterback one, and bro, I have a stupid, crazy idea with the quarterback one. It's going to be lit. It's going to be lit. I'm, gonna, I'm probably going to record it right after this video. Put it up on Friday. It's going to go crazy. It's for real going to go crazy. Now, I don't mind jumping up here. Oh, this one's projected to be number three. Hold on. What if you swap me? This is not realistic at all. Not realistic at all. By any means. But I can get the number three pick. And, huh. Sorry, my no dude, my allergies are acting up like crazy right now. I don't like it at all one bit. So let's not do with the bears, right? I'm... If it's projected to be that bad, I don't mind jumping up to like inside the top 10, like Broncos. Um, I'll take your pick and they can mm, give me this pick, but I will also to make it fair, give you another pick from the second round for us. Nice. Yes, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. That's stupid. Terrible. I mean, it's not projected to be like that if we just won the Super Bowl anyway. But hey, sometimes my videos are not meant to be realistic, man. Not meant to be realistic. We're number seven. Um, DN could be a shout. D tackle could be a shout. Wide receiver could be a shout. But look at this guy right here. Kind of beefy guy right there, man. Um, we need a man in the middle. We realistically need a man in the middle. This guy can be it. He's solid all around. Like I, I would take that. Like running back, we don't have to worry about that right now. Uh, lineman play, we don't have to worry about that right now. Somebody at the edge positions, I mean, definitely. But I mean, Maje Sanders could be good. Right outside linebacker, we do have Kazir uh, White still. Um, so we don't have to go that route. So it's going to be bad to some people I know. But we're going to go D-tackle to solidify what we should have gotten in, in Jalen Carter this past season. Now, okay, that's cool. So now we j use our second pick in the second round. Because I'm not going to jump up. Because no, I'm not, I'm not going to do that. We're potentially going to trade away um, our boy. Oh, I see a bunch of A's right here. Hold on. You're projected to go to this is a steal this is hold on this is bad this could be bad it's bad it's bad i see i seen a bunch of a's i'm sorry i'm sorry i had to go with it <laughs> i had to let it fly okay so with all due respect i had to let james connor go uh because this guy's 75 overall james connor 77 not much of a difference so it's a good thing i snagged this guy in the second round i think we're gonna have to make some moves here. I don't know what I'm gonna do, but we have to create some kind of space because we are like 12 mil over the cap. And if that means moving on from DeAndre Hopkins or trading him away for somebody cheaper that can fit, I'm not opposed to that, but we'll see what I can do. Honestly, I think we got lucky last time making the playoffs because if it wasn't for us making the playoffs in the fourth seed the way we did, we wouldn't probably have not had that magical run that we did. Now this time around, I know the Rams are bad the first season in that rebuild now i don't know how good the seattle seahawks got either so they could also potentially knock us out but our team is just too good like we should auto progress our way into the playoffs regardless if it's like the sixth or seventh seed i'm expecting us to get knocked out this is such a arizona ravens thing to do where's the standings at they like disappeared <laughs> okay now we are the way team so that means we did not uh, finish in the top four. We're kind of a little bit out of it. I feel like it was a three-team race. We're, so we're looking like the NFC East out here. Then, okay. So we are the seventh seed. We just snuck in. We just snuck in. I can't believe we just did that. 
Okay. Uh, let me... Anthony Richardson and Desmond Ritter top... Well, again, the Atlanta Falcons are like a spread offense, too, so it's going to help them out a ton when they do that. Uh, let's not do that. Let's do team schedule. See if we lost a lot of one-possession games that we potentially should have won. Okay. I mean, that's two. I, I told you guys right before the Sims started that we might just lose those games. We won on a magical run, okay? Okay. And one possession game, damn it. One possession game, damn it. One possession game, damn it. Mm. <laughs> we should be a lot higher, uh, but we lost a lot of one possession games. That sucks a ton. That really does suck. Now we got to go up against the New York Giants. I don't know who they have, but anyway, let me go ahead and check the stats out. Um, I'm trying to see who has top tier stats. Okay, we're seventh in total offense. Good. Good. I like that. Defense, at least top 10. Okay, 10. I'll take that. I'll take that. I projected it though. Uh, 5,300 yards passing for Kyler Murray, 38 touchdowns, 7 interceptions, 70% completion percentage, rushing. Hey, hey, you're like James Conner, bro. I like it. I like it. I like it. 955 yards rushing on the season, 3,000 yard receivers, and Trey McBride. That's cool. He took the place of Zach Ertz. Uh, Marquise Brown, 1,300, 1,200 for uh, DeAndre Hopkins, and almost 1,000 again for Rondo Moore. I know everybody else is taking up the majority of the catches, but that's kind of nice. He's, he's doing something. You know, Isaiah Simmons, good thing we resigned you, 136 tackles. Sean Murphy Bunting at 104. Zayvon Collins with 92. Buda Baker at 85. Okay. Interceptions. Three for Zayvon Collins. Two. Traylon Diggs. Okay. I expect Traylon Diggs to help us out come playoff time, though. Well, and are we getting to the quarterback? That's why we just couldn't have like a 10 plus sack guy. I just feel like that was the move. Well, Anderson, six. Davenport, five. Four and a half for Tar. Four for. Amaje said, I think we're just getting to the quarterback overall. That's what it feels like to me anyway. So this kind of sucks, right? This is my second attempt at this game, mainly because we it was a tie ball game at the end of this game right here, the Giants and uh, Arizona Cardinals. We kicked the game-winning field goal, and I was like, let's go. I was showing the game and everything, crazy-ass drive, and then I realized I wasn't recording. I wasn't recording. I'm so sad. We should have advanced, but I wanted to actually show you guys the game. Now we're here again, trying to record this. Hopefully make sure. I mean, I could just sim it and just win this game automatically, but I'm not going to do that. I want to actually like watch a whole ass game. It was snowing too. Oh, I'm so sad. It was snowing. We're back at MetLife Stadium again. Hopefully we're able to pull out the win again this time around. Like, I'm so, so dumb. Sometimes I forget to push record and it's like, damn, okay. Okay, last time we won via late game field goal, right? At the end of the first half, it was a tie ball game. This time around, we're just blowing them out the water. Great. Great. Now I don't have to worry about us not winning this game because of a technicality. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. Go ahead and put this game, Kyler Murray, away. Put it away. Put it away. Shut him out. Shut I'll take a goose egg. I'll take a goose egg. Easy. And right, we're driving. Yeah, they ain't. I don't think any team in this uh, playoff bracket is ready for us. Don't give them a touchdown. No, we had the goose egg. All right, whatever. We won. We won. Kyler Murray, good job. I have no idea who their quarterback was, but he do do. We're back, baby. We're back. I don't know if Buccaneers fans remember, but we knocked their team out last season, right? And we're back to do it again. Like we're our goal is to not have you guys make the Super Bowl. I know you guys have a go to Anthony Richardson. But that's about it. You guys ain't gonna make it. You guys ain't gonna make it. My team is here to eliminate y'all. And this is gonna be back and forth. I hope it's back and forth to where I have to jump in with this ball game, right? Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Dude, no, please. That better not have been a Kyler Murray interception. I totally think that was. Come on, drive, Kyler, drive. I'll hand I'll handle the late game game winning drive if I have to. All right, we're currently up two possessions. I love that. I love that. Still 15 minutes left in this ballgame. Anything can happen, right? Still two possessions. Let's keep it that way. Come on, Kyler. Please don't throw an interception. Kyler is so inclined to throw an interception. Thank you. This offense is too good. This offense is too good. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, that's knocked away. Anthony Richardson just don't know what to do against. He has no answer against this Arizona Cardinals team. He really doesn't. He really doesn't. We're advancing again. Dude, I can go back to back with the Arizona Cardinals. Uh, let's go ahead and check out the stats for this game again. Anthony Richardson, 55% on the day. That is not the move for you, big dog. Three touchdowns, one interception, 73% completion percentage from Kyler Murray. Brian Medrano? 
The rookie out of Missouri, 60 rushing yards on the day. That's cool. That's good. It's a rookie, though. It's not like we're having to overpay him or anything. DeAndre Hopkins, 93 yards. Rondell Moore, 101. I'm going to get you a touchdown in the Super Bowl this time, Rondell Moore. You deserve it. You deserve it, my guy. Eight for Buda Baker, six for Trayvon Diggs, and Collins had five. And that's pretty much it. Okay, cool. Let's go ahead. We have one more game. We have one more game. If I have to jump in, I will. If I have to jump in, I will. I definitely will. I definitely will. In that Giants game, I jumped in. Oh, did I? No. It was a late game when he field goal. I didn't really jump in that one. But then, of course, I didn't freaking record, so I had to record it again, which blew him out anyway. So that was fine. We're putting up 30 points in the playoffs. Hey, Tampa Bay Buccaneers, our defense is too good, bro. Back-to-back -back chip with Buda Baker. Oof. Ooh, we got it. We got it right now. Against the Bengals or the Chargers? Fuck. Fuck, fuck. Please give me the Bengals. Please. I don't want to eliminate the Chargers in back-to-back -back, uh, playoff games. I'll see you guys in this one. We are in SoFi Stadium, baby. I don't think Sean McVay is ready for this one. Last time he was here, he faced the 49ers. Right? This time he's here, now he's facing the Arizona Cardinals. And the Arizona Cardinals are looking to repeat. Back-to-back. They're going to be two-time Super Bowl champions. Because I know they lost to the Pittsburgh Steelers in Super Bowl 43. I was watching that game. I was a kid. I was a kid remembering my team win that game. And, you know, there's a lot of people who are grown that were upset that my team won. Hey, but sometimes I don't care because it was my team at the time, right? But now it's my it's my job to fulfill their destiny and be able to lead this team to back-to-back -to -back Super Bowl. Oh, don't. Okay. You know what, though? I respect it. They, they put up some points at the end right there. 17-13. This should not be this close. This should. How's every other team? Okay, respectful. There we go. There we go. I think our goal was to keep them in as long as we could and then just blow them out. Yeah. We're putting up 30 in the playoffs. There's no way in heck that we lose this game to the worst team we could have possibly played making that run. Mm -mm. All right, Kyler. Your job is to get the Super Bowl MVP this time around, big guy. Big dog, okay? McBride and... Medrano. That's such a hard name to say. It's Medrano, and I keep wanting to say Moreno. That's not the that's not the name. I totally forgot to give you guys the stats, but we're in the Super Bowl, so does that really matter? How are we playing the Chargers back to back? Or are playing the Chargers back to back in the Super Bowl? I feel bad for these guys. Alright, man. One game of who in the fuck is this number two guy, bro? <laughs> they said we could do it without Justin Herbert. Because obviously, obviously, Justin Herbert plays for the Carolina Panthers now. And obviously he ain't here. So I mean and obviously he don't wear number two either. So hopefully we're able to beat this team. No problem. Little underneath though. My goal is to not suck so bad with Kyler Murray this game. Like you guys know in the last game, right? I did throw an interception. Then again it was a Kyler esque you know type of throw, right? And every time I talk about throwing an interception, knock on wood, I throw one. So let's hope we don't throw a quick throw quick, please. Oh, <laughs> Nelson Adderley was about to lay the boom. Thankfully, he didn't. Thankfully, look at that quick throw. Back shoulder, Nelson Adderley misses completely. He retired, too. So I think I mentioned that in the last game, too. My, my boy retired. He shouldn't even be here. He's, he made two Super Bowl appearances since retiring. Oh, my goodness. Oh, thank you. Madrona step. Oh, he threw him off. Is that Joseph Day? Who is that? Who's number 69 for the Chargers in the middle? I don't remember. But my goal is to get Rondell Moore touchdown. Right? Or I think Mc, I don't think McBride had one. So hopefully we can get McBride one too. Fit it in there. Thank you. Little big hit stick right there. Trenton Simpson makes the hit. Thank goodness. Thank goodness. Mm, where is Rondell? Okay, there's Rondell Moore. Don't worry, Rondell. I'll get you one. I'll get you one right here, big dog. You didn't have one in the last one. Oh, but you don't, I don't think you're going to have one right now. Because I just threw it underneath and he was wide open. You weren't. <laughs> All right, come on. Come on, make it snappy. All right, Rondo. I don't need you way out there, my guy. Fuck. <laughs> okay. All right, McBride, let's get you one instead. Let's get you one instead. In the Super Bowl, make sure everybody gets a little Super Bowl tutty. Oh, my. You guys followed the wrong guy. You had the, like, 90-rated wide receiver right there. I have no idea why you guys ain't following him. Like, he was wide open. He was, like, butt booty naked wide open out there. Like, oh, so much space. So much less space. All right. Can I hit somebody... In the end zone. This could be McBride again, bro. This might just be McBride. Oh, shit. I'm a, I'm a lot better running to the right-hand side as a quarterback, but as a running back, I like running to the left side. They better drop that safety down. Come on, by embarrass. Or, you know what? Head top. Give me a head top. 
Don't, don't, don't. Just fall down. Just fall down. Just fall down. You're a little body. All right, little bodies. Little bodies fumble the ball out there, okay? Derwin James in coverage. Oh, this is intercepted. Hopefully not. Get rich for the end zone. Mm. I'm trying to get you one, Rondell. I know you didn't have one last game. I know you didn't have one last game, but I'm trying to get you one right now. Damn, my nose is itchy. It's crazy. All right. I don't even know what's the whole point of having a kicker if I never use him in any situation. All right, give me, give me DeAndre Hopkins. All right, I'll take it. Oh, oh, they thought I was gonna run the ball. They thought, they thought I was gonna run, man. Mm. DeAndre Hopkins is having a field day right now. We gonna continue to have one too. We gonna embarrass these Chargers. Come on, Rondell, give me one. Give me one. Play zone coverage, I dare you guys. He beat him right off the line. I don't know if number 32 is a linebacker or what, but he just got toasted off the line. When you have somebody like Marquise Hollywood Brown, he's going to burn everybody off the line. All right, Rondell. I'm trying to get you one. I swear I'm trying. But you're just not open when I want you to be. Tyler Murray, just right up the middle. Darren James, you're not going to hit my guy. This, this oh, dude, I feel so bad. This is a blowout. Let me see if I can get Madron on another one then. Might as well. <laughs> oh. That was Derwin James. I applaud that one. But. Oh, I'm about to pull this. Whoopsie. <gasps> oh. If he fumbled at the goal line, I would have been so pissed. Kyler, come on. Come on. Get your Super Bowl MVP, my guy. This is this game's a blowout. Like, blowout. Like, I don't know what to tell you guys. I'm going to throw it up to DeAndre Hopkins. The fact that he has doesn't have like double me or anything like that kind of pisses me off. But whatever. Oh, give me that. Oh, if he caught that, if he caught that, if he caught that, that would be crazy. Fourth and eight. Nah, we'll punt it, I guess. I was gonna go for it. I was thinking about going for it, but there's really no point. I need a new chair, man. I'm gonna, you guys might see like in the next two videos that I might actually get a new chair because I ordered one recently because I needed one. Oh, McBride, bro. McBride, wide open. I'm, I feel so bad they have Khalil Mack out there in coverage and not rushing me because he should be bringing the heat instead of being out there, being exposed. I'll get you one right now, Rondo. Easy right here. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Somebody help. Somebody help. Okay. I usually fumble it out of bounds, to be honest. Like, I have no... Bishop, I don't know what that face mask is, my guy. But that's not a move either. That, that's kind of ugly. All right, Rondell. Up over the top. Dorsch, go somewhere over there. I respect you too, Dorsch. Just not... No. <gasps> I almost got one, Rondell. Almost. Almost. All right, I'm going to head top somebody. Marquise Hollywood Brown's either going to be open or it's going to be head top. Head top. I'm trying to get a highlight here, my guy. All right, come on. Let's get it. 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 All right, Dorsch. Okay, okay, that's fine. 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 This is gonna be a first down. I already feel it. They're gonna play zone coverage, and they're gonna. Got it. First down, easy. Three touchdowns, zero interception. I'm about to read option this. I'm about to embarrass Khalil Mack or who the fuck? Okay. <laughs> Get embarrassed. Yeah, the quarterback sitting and watching. Even when I pull it, he's still standing. Damn, that's a big ass run. That Austin Eckler. Damn. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get one. I'm gonna get one. He said, "Give me that with one hand." That's a highlight. That's a highlight. A speechless. Speechless as the Arizona Cardinals go back to back two straight Super Bowls in two straight times against the Los Angeles Chargers. Uh, 28 for 36 on the day for Kyler Murray, 77% completion percentage, four touchdowns, zero interception. Madrano had 74 yards rushing, uh, 100 yards receiving for Rondell Moore, 109 for Marquise Brown, and pretty much. I mean, DeAndre Hopkins had two, but he had those two nice ass ones. I'm sorry for Ronda not being able to get him one, but I guess it just happens from time to time. Akuda had eight tackles, Simmons had seven, uh, and Jalen Thompson had four. 
um mc defensive interceptions we had four in total rocky Sin had one akuda had one uh thompson had one and buddha baker had one sacks looks like we can't even get to the quarterback even in the super bowl whatever we're out here looking like the i don't think the eagles got one in the super bowl which sucks i feel like they should have but whatever go ahead and check out the recap for 2024 we have 65 mil to work with too that's ridiculous Kyler Murray, super bowl mvp back-to-back -back super bowl champion so now two-time super bowl champion anthony richardson nfl mvp levy smith coach of the year chris godwin offensive player nick bosa defensive player of the year brian madrona offensive rookie of the year okay okay i see you guys i see you guys on that one all right man oh shit if you guys made it to the end of the video feel free to drop a like and subscribe as it really does do help me out or don't or don't uh thank you guys so much for the support lately it really does do mean a lot to me man i'll see you guys on the next one till next time comes guys yeah. I've been lost in your ocean now I see the waves and they pounding now All I know I'm about to take off Working hard it would pay off I found myself I was feeling lost